This is a HeadGum Podcast. What's up, everybody? James III here with some exciting news. Mark your calendars, Monday, November 9th, 8 p.m. Black Men Can't Jump in Hollywood, live, baby, at the People's Improv Theater. That's right, once again, that date is Monday, November 9th at 8 p.m. We are doing a live show. So y'all got to check that out. The tickets are available online, www.thepit-nyc.com. You can get them right now. And uh, as for, you know, if, if there's going to be a movie, if there's going to be a guest, what, what those details are, you know what? You got to stay tuned for stuff like that. All right. So check it out. Monday, November 9th, 8 p.m. Black Men Can't Jump live. Is it the hot open or the hot news? It's the hot it's, news. It's the hot open. That's that is hot news. The I hot open both. with some hot news. Man, y'all messing up the title. No it's hot news. No, originally said, it was hot open because we were doing but, a cold open. But then at the end and of it, we were we like, saying nah. hot news. So yeah, but then we <laughs> sang both hot of news. them together. All right, we gotta sing hot news. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> hot hot. It's hot. hot. Hot news, hot, 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 hot news, hot, 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 hot news, hot, 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 hot news, hot, hot, hot news, hot, 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 hot news, hot, 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 hot news, it's hot, hot news, is it too hot? I don't know. That's gonna leave me hanging like that. That was the tag. That was the tag. Okay, okay, okay. Cool tag. 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 Cool I guess black entertainment. Oh man, we becoming BET. No, we, well this is no. yeah, this is the BET podcast. The podcast. podcast. <laughs> the podcast. The BET podcast. No, I can't really. Um, oh, uh, no. But basically, all I really wanted to talk about was Empire, y'all. Empire's oh, yes. ratings are killing them through the roof, through the roof, through the roof. Who, who, man? Uh, Empire beat. Uh, Sunday uh, in its premiere beat Sunday Night Football for the that demo. Is insane. Well, after the a live plus three rating, meaning like after three days when people went and watched it on Hulu and on demand and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The it like jumped like two million, uh, and it beat Sunday Night Football. That guys. is amazing. That's incredible. I mean, do they but sing also, songs on Sunday Night Football? No, no, they don't. Is Taraji on Sunday Night Football? No, no she's not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Terrence Howard on Sunday Night Football? No, no he ain't. Is is the is the is the ex wife the light skinned girl on on Sunday Night Football? No. no, it's messed up that you don't know her name. Yeah, what's her name? Do you know her I, name? No, I don't. It's messed <laughs> up that I don't know her. Her name, her name is her name. Is, only thing, it's so funny because I watch Empire and I feel like the only time I hear her name is like Boo Boo Kitty. Shut up! Like when yeah. Taraji says Boo Boo Kitty, that's how I know her as Boo Boo Kitty. Yeah, but like here's the thing. I was looking at. <laughs> I was looking at the Hollywood Reporter. Yeah, and I and looked that had, up after yeah, you said that. They had a picture of the writing room, and in this writing room, more women than men. Yes. And more people of color than white people. Hold yes. on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Tell me, tell me, Braylock, I, I feel like you're saying something weird. So you're saying a TV show that might be like what? One of the what? highest rated TV shows right now. Yeah. Right? Right? I mean, in, I believe last that season. That broke records. First season, ratings went up almost every episode. Yeah, I think, believe it was 13 episodes in a row, something like that. Yeah. And you're telling me that writer's room mm-hmm. has, what, women writing in it? That's yeah. right. They it have has, it people... has women writing in it. Wait, wait they got people, people of color yeah, writing people on a TV color. show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, 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 on the same show together? On the same, same show, show together, together at yeah. the same time. At the same time. And the ratings are good. And the ratings, and the ratings are, are, are the uh, best. Amazing, yeah. That TV show, their premiere... Rated higher than Sunday Night Football? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The demo, Live yeah. plus three. But it has women writing on the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People of color are right. Y'all yeah. niggas lying. I don't trust you. We're no, not. no, we're, we're not. not. You we're can not go lying. to the we're Hollywood Reporter. Truths. You can look at the picture and yeah. you can see it. So, so you're saying if, Braylock, like, if you wanted to do a show, yeah. you could hire women uh-huh. and people of color. That's and right. the show could be a hit. I mean, you, it's it's honestly, it's really hard for me to comprehend that these two th- these facts exist yeah. together, but it's true. But it's true, yeah. What you're true. saying is actually correct. Well, I don't. Guys, I think I might be hungover. And I didn't drink last night. <laughs> this don't make no sense. It's easy, Hollywood. That's the point we're trying to make. Okay? It is easy. All right, all right. Okay. okay. No, no, no. All right. You know what? Gerard, you wait, it's too early. It's no, too early. Too, okay. Listen. He's screaming in people's ears. Woo-hoo, wait, don't get me started. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I think... Uh, 
I think we learned something today. I think we all learned something today. Yeah. Hire, but hopefully hire people. Hollywood learned something today. You hear us, Hollywood? We coming Do at you. You hear us, Hollywood? It's time to start the show. Jonathan Raylock, James the Third, Drop Milligan. What more can I say? Yo, 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 what's up? What's up, y'all? Welcome to yet another episode of Black Men Can't Jump in Hollywood. My yeah. name is James the Third. I am Gerard Milligan, and uh, Jonathan Braylock isn't here today. He's not here today. He's out here being famous. Yeah. You know, he wants to book Hollywood jobs. He's booking all these jobs. You know what? Jonathan Braylock can jump in Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, he's tall, though, so he can just, like, he can go on his tippy <laughs> he toes. He just reach it. He can just reach. He ain't got to jump. We got uh, a good guest yes, today. Yes, we have now. a great guest in his absence. Uh, Mr. Cypher. Sound. Sound. You guys went big time. Yeah, we this, tried, yes, we you did. Know what I'm saying? We, tried, we tried to you know, we hype it up, too. We went big time. You know? it. This man is a DJ. He's formerly yeah. at Hot 97. Yep. He's the DJ of oh. the Chappelle Show. I mean, he's got some crazy show at UCB yes, right now. Yes, he does. Now. Take, Take it, it personal. personal. Yep. Every Friday. Every you know what I'm saying? Hip hop guest there, you know? Yeah. Bring a little bit of a little bit of hip hop culture to the comedy. Oh, like it's so that. great. It's so amazing. I'm trying to blend it. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> like listen. Like a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Uh-oh. I respect that because we need that, you know? Yes, we do. Shoot. Yes, Half the time do. I say Fetty Wap, people are like, who is that? Like, Come on, man. Y'all got to know this. Come on, UCB. But- and, he, and he has a new show. I just want to say before we, before we move on, we has, he has a new show. Coming out on title. title. Yeah. I mean, yes. title's a big deal, man. Title. Yes. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I mean, listen, <laughs> no, listen, yeah. you got, I remember seeing that press conference when it was like Jay Z, Rihanna, Madonna, yep. yes. like J. Cole all, all just lined, lined up. up. Kanye, I was like, good God, this is a, this is a musical fort. It's, it's, a, a, it's a musical uh, uh, convoy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Man, congrats on that, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, Jeez. I got a show yeah. called No Small Talk. So it's like a stand up series. Oh, yeah. it's dope. just an excuse to get close to Jay. Yeah. Oh, listen, man. <laughs> it's just an excuse. Any, anything, anything, really. Man, you meet Rihanna, though. You let me know when you go on to like. Oh, I got Rihanna, Rihanna stories, but we'll talk. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Listen, you have no idea how excited that is. Well, I want to <laughs> hear about those. Uh, but today, what we are talking about is uh, the 1990 film. House, House party. party. Yeah. House party. Is it 90? It's, it's 1990. 1990. Wow. Yes. House party, 1990. Yes. It stars, both of their names are Christopher. Christopher, yeah. yes. But uh, the, uh, they are most known as Kid, Kid and Play. And play. Uh, um, yeah. This was like a special time, too, because I feel like, it's like, you're a music man. I, I don't know, what, what was like the Kid and Play, like Tony Tony Tone, like that that fun hip hop back in the 90s? I feel like yeah. they had like a dancey. Hip hop yeah. vibe, bright was colors. A, was you know it a name for that at all, or was it um, just like? No. I used to love them, man. It was like I got a '90s mix on my phone right now. No, because like you're talking <laughs> about, like it's like the the opposite of like gangster rap. Yeah, yes, it was the so opposite. Gangster, yeah. We know what gangster rap yeah, yeah. is. We know the origins, especially straight out of Compton, Compton just out. came out. Yeah, yeah. So it's like that eighty. 80- Six eighty seven yeah. gangster rap era where it started, but the, yeah, the fun hip hop didn't really have a like a name, I guess. Didn't like really Heavy have... D and the Funky Bunch, yeah. it was like crazy. Because at the same time, they were hitting. I Dude, guess was... like NWA was going down, and then like Death Row was coming up, so it was yeah. like that weird like. Well, that got a lot of attention because they were talking about like reality, but Kid and Play were talking about reality. True. It was yeah. just more fun reality. Yeah, true. <laughs> it doesn't get the same amount of. Press, I guess. But you like, like you need, but well, yeah, like they don't get the press because it's like they aren't change, they aren't yeah. changing anything. Like with that kind of hip hop, it's not like changing man, culture. Or listen, anything. man, that like, was fun, bro. Like it was dancing, fun. very fun, man. Yeah, and then like gangsters went to watch House Party. Yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah. That's a whole nother theory I have. I don't want to get into it too much, but every hood black movie that depicts like gangsters and stereotypes and drug houses and 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 drive-bys yeah. they always focus on that and people think that's what the black community is but 
Right. Right next door to the drug house is a very nice family. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah. nice things in the hood. There's nice things around gangsters. Like, yeah, you got to be a little more careful. But there's people having fun. There's yeah. regular people. It's a family. It's yeah, a family. Yeah. Yeah. It's people just living like, their don't, life. Just... Don't hang out in front of that house <laughs> after dark. <laughs> it's so funny you even say that. And I'm not trying to skip ahead, James. But it's Uh-oh. like, I'm thinking about, like, House Party. And I was watching it last night. And I'm like. There are messages. Yeah. And there are a lot there of like messages. legit messages. Like yeah. at one point, like uh was a kid and player having a discussion about uh safe sex. Yeah. Yeah. And like and like kid is just going in on play like, man, you're an asshole, you yeah. adult. Yeah. Yep. Like you gotta protect your kids. Okay, so yeah, so that so before we get into House Party, let's just talk about what House Party is about. Okay, okay. so in case, in case sure, people have sure. not, haven't seen it, right? So House Party uh, it's a movie about uh, high schoolers, right? Uh, that Trying one, one of them party. play play <laughs> yeah, play has is gonna have a, a house party at his house while his parents are out of town. Yep. And kid uh, wants to go and he wants to like spit some rhymes at the party, like wants it to be hot. But he gets into a fight um, with <laughs> Snag and the and <laughs> the character named Snag Pee Wee and, and something else, but they're the members of Full Force. I never force, even knew Full right? Force. I never even knew their name. Yeah, they had names in the in the the, uh, in the credits. In the credits they don't they say their names. names. No, they in do. The movie. They say Snag. They say Snag a lot. Really? Snag is a, is a name that they say a lot. But they get into a fight, and then uh, uh, kid gets grounded. He can't go to the party. He sneaks out anyway. And the movie, the main events of the movie are like him trying to get to the party, yeah. him at it's the like party, a quest, yeah. and like All the <laughs> obstacles he yeah. hits to try to get to this house party. Yeah, and and among them, there are like straight up messages in it. Yeah. Oh, my, oh my goodness! <laughs> it's like it's funny because there's so many points where they just drop a message. Yeah, like especially when kid is trying to get to the party. And full force is chasing him. He gets into like the the uppity like black people party, yeah. and the cops yeah. come. Yeah, and like all of a sudden, like these the uppity black people kind of defend right. The, the, right the black kids when they right. when the even cops though they make, disrupted the party. Even though yeah. they're like, nah, man, we couldn't we couldn't press charges with those cops with around. Those it was cops like around. with those yeah. cops yeah. around. They don't need they don't need this from you tonight. Yeah. Then the ninety, the yeah. ninety, we have those problems today. T- today, yeah. And the cops made them say, repeat. Yeah. After, uh, I never get it. <laughs> repeat after me. Ah. Am somebody. somebody. What the fuck? <laughs> that that part of the movie, I cringe every time. Uh, yeah, I cringe. It hurts it's that part of the movie. Disgusting. <sighs> yeah, like, and, and 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 like throughout the movie, those cops just keep showing up, like keep just, doing just stuff. shitting on the black yeah. people. <laughs> like, don't worry, we have to take when they uh, got full force. Don't worry, we gotta take them in. We can handle this ourselves. Like, what is happening? Yeah, yeah we can like, handle this ourselves. On, what? What are you gonna do with those? That's nineteen ninety. They. They beat him up in the they, movie. Yeah, they beat him up. They like take, <laughs> they him, they to take the, him somewhere. Take him to the river they, they or took something. Him somewhere and beat him up. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's legit what happens. And he's like, "Yeah, let's go down to the river." And they joke about it. And then like full forces in the back seat just blown because yeah. they're not even shocked. This is about to go down. Yeah, they, they expect it. They like they're like, "This is like, what happens." Right, we gotta do this. But I mean, hope oh, sorry for your initial thoughts. Like watching this movie again. Yeah. Did you? You know, did you like it? How'd you feel? It's funny because I've been trying to schedule being on this podcast for a while, and it kept getting messed up. But I brought up I wanted to talk about House Party. Then it came on the other day on TV, so oh. I didn't even. I have the DVD. I watch it all the time. But <laughs> yeah. it came on TV. So I was like, oh, perfect. Um, still holds up. Okay. Great movie, funny movie, and I watched it again with the int- intent that I knew I was gonna be talking about it. So I yeah. watched it, like you know, try to with a different. Um, yeah. Filter, yeah, and oh, it's a good movie, man. Yeah, like, I think it's, a, it's I, yeah, fun. I it's very funny. I agree. I think it's I think it's like a great, a really well made, funny yeah. comedy. Mm-hmm. You know, like about like uh, that like focuses on people, but they are people that happen to be black. As much as the as much as the exactly. messages are in there, as much yeah. as they talk about that, like it's not about that. It's about like we're gonna we're gonna have fun. We're gonna yeah. have a, we're gonna have a party. We're gonna like we're gonna we're gonna hang out. And then and then like those themes like kind of like um are like woven in, just sort of like kind of happen to appear like within the movie. You know like And like when I watched that movie when I was younger, I watched it in the theater. I didn't care about like Writers and directors, and yeah. Like that. So I don't even know who wrote it or directed, but oh man, it's crazy. Is it, I just like I, I did. Kid and play have any? No, no. it's a crazy bad nothing to do to with. Okay. Yeah, this kid, this this kid, he was a kid when he did it. Yeah, this kid Reginald Hudlin. Oh, I know. Uh, him. He did a short yeah. film. Yeah, it was like House Party is based on a short film he did at Harvard. At Harvard, oh. it was his thesis. Yeah. at Harvard. Really? And the thing is, it was offered, or what the rumor is, the movie was offered to uh uh. Fresh Prince. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the yeah. Fresh Prince. Really? And they yeah. said no. Why? 
They said no because they were busy, but hear me out. But this yeah. crazy part is that when they did uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, that was offered to Ken and play. What? But Will Smith, and, like Will Smith, ended up taking it. So it's wow. like it's like this crazy like that is crazy, and that's something that I didn't know until looking this until up. looking it up. Yeah, yeah. and I and and uh, something I want to ask. Uh, that brings up something that I want to ask. But before we do, what what were your initial thoughts? Oh, the thing is, it's yeah. crazy is that I, and again, I guess it's my show my age. I remember House Party two very mm-hmm. vividly. Like yeah. to, to this day. I want to have a pajama jammy jam. Yeah, like, to this the jam jammy jam is in the hip hop <laughs> you know vernacular <laughs> now because of that movie. Yeah. It is. It's like to this day I wanted to do it. And watching House Party, I was like, man. Also, I was thinking is there's so many cameos of like these yeah. actors who you've seen now yeah. in movies. And then it's this thing of just like, I don't know, man. I grew up in Southeast, so like I remember. Like like you said, Cypher, like the hood, but also like the family that lived next door who you could hang out with, who like the mom always had food. Yeah. Like the single dad who was always just like hounding his son, but was like still nice as hell. If right. You about yeah. It. Yeah. So yeah. this movie to me just, it made me miss home a little bit. Yeah. Like I missed home. So I was like, and it was just fun. Because in DC, you like, we used to dance to like go-go music. So you actually had to like practice dance moves right, if yeah, someone right. like tried to battle you know like yeah. yeah they were battling yeah they were battling they were battling in that movie yeah it was crazy. And, and like something that that i bring up every now and, and then is about like what movies were like household movies or like and who was household names mm-hmm. and like house party was definitely like a household movie like we yeah. like i don't think we i don't think we owned it because it was on tv so much mm-hmm. but like we House House Party was like the movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, like if it came on TV, yeah, you had, came on TV, it. we were watching it. it. We and and Kid and Play was a household name, and I don't think Full Force was a household name necessarily. No, they were more like, behind the scenes, yeah, yeah. but like, but we were like all about them. Like the like and that movie like has like a lot like is a part of my roots. Yeah, um, and and means like a whole lot. And I didn't know about about directors and stuff back then too, but like. Um, and it did, and I didn't think, I also didn't think twice about rappers in movies right. as much as I do now. Of course, and yeah. so that that makes me think of the question I wanted to ask about DJ Desi Jeff and the Fresh Prince. So they were originally offered this movie, right? But then they did the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Do you think that that would have changed yeah. their House career? Party? Do you think that would have changed? Well, how would like, it have changed would, House would, Party? Would Chris uh. like kid? Be would he be Will, Will Smith, Smith yeah. right now? You know what I mean, like, w- like, or would Will Smith not have been as have big of an actor off, yeah. if it wasn't? You know what I mean? Like, I mean that's interesting because I remember looking up uh, Chris and Chris. I mean, yeah. Kid and Play, and like, technically, I know they rap a lot, but I guess their big thing at the time was they were like uh, dancers. So yeah, they were like you know they used to choreograph yeah. a lot of dance moves. So it's funny, like I. I Man, I don't think Will Smith would be Will Smith if it wasn't for Fresh Prince. You yeah, know? Right. Because what happened to Kid and Play after? Like, what happened? Like, they were a big deal. They, they did this. No, Kid and Play was big. They man. were huge. They had a Saturday morning cartoon. Yes. Right. They had a cereal. Yep. They had a class act. Class act is crazy. It's a great movie, yo. Yeah. It's like, and what it's three, happened? There's three house parties, It's right? three. Yeah. Technically, there's four, first off, but then it's like. It's four because they had Immature do one, but it's right. technically five because Fuse. Fuse yeah. did a recent one with they did um, one recently. Uh, the son from uh, Everybody Hates Chris. Like, not Chris, but the right. brother. Yeah. He played, they did like a white and black version of like House Party. Wait, a remake? Or? Yeah. They just did a no, different they did, like, one. A new, it was a like a new, one. new House Party. Yeah, like, oh, like House Party one. Two T O O. Yeah, it's like it was. It was like a fused movie. It's like, is it in the? Is it canon? We don't know. One of them. One of them shows up. I think it might be Play who shows up in the movie at some point for. Like, yeah, maybe he plays like a record dealer or something like that, and Sorry. he's like, "Oh, I'm trying to make a hit." Oh, I have to. Oh, he's a baller. Try to take. Nah, Look, do you, you have to take it? it? It's a reminder to call Alicia Keys. Okay, see this. Wow. Is what happens when you have? Cypher, you got a big deal. You wanted to start on y'all <laughs> real quick. Just, just so y'all know, Cypher just pulled some super soft stuff. He was like, "Hey, I'm gonna make sure this, this <laughs> yeah. alarm goes off that says two, nah, call two Alicia Keys." I said this alarm, I said this alarm on Friday, <laughs> and she said, "She said if I don't hit you by Wednesday, hit me." And I'm like, "I'm setting an alarm." Uh-huh. <laughs> to be fair, we were originally gonna start at three. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they, don't need, they don't need to know Cypher that. Forgot to change they don't need the alarm. Cypher was like, "Hey, it's this is gonna go off. Alicia Keys' name gonna pop up." Stunting on him. He just dropped the mic. I respect that, though. I respect that, though. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I don't think that it would have been the same. And I think it has a lot to do with like, uh, like it's one thing to act in a movie versus acting on TV. 
and, like when you're acting on TV, you're like and and it, you guys. Are, no, yeah. Well, just like when you're acting on TV, it's like regular. It's you're, you're you're going to work. You right? have like yeah, reps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can learn and you can see like, oh, I'm shitty in this. I need to yeah, be better, better in this right. next tomorrow. Thing. Tomorrow, yeah. you know. But like, if you're doing a movie, they're picking. The absolute best cuts. Right. After, and you don't like, see it until it's done. Yeah. Right. And like, so you don't have as much stake. And the thing with the, if that guy, Reginald Hudlin, that mm-hmm. was his first thing ever. His that was first, his first, first thing. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. So he's new. Right. You know, you're trusting him and obviously it came out well, but he doesn't really know yeah. what's going on. Fresh Prince has major writers, major directors. Right. Quincy, Quincy Jones, Jones was behind it. Right. So yeah. like, you know, they could pull him aside and be like, hey, Will, you know, you kind of did this. Just yeah. t- next time, try to do this. Yeah. And, and it, you could watch. First season of Fresh Prince grow into oh my god what it became and know? what it did is they put Will around a bunch of great actors like exactly. James Avery yeah. I mean no, he's a the original yeah. I'm always calling the original Aunt Viv yeah. like don't get me wrong <laughs> light skin Aunt Viv is cool but original Aunt Viv was an actress yeah. she was in that yeah, thing yeah, yeah. stunting on people with hairdos shoulder pads <laughs> right. suits dancing on folks but like yeah and that's a good point right they did they surrounded him with real actors yeah. and in this movie right the majority of the cast are Hip hop stars turned actors, yeah, right, yeah, and that's interesting. What's interesting they about it though is a good job, though. I think a bunch great. of like, yeah, they did musicians and non actors or very low, yeah, just level who actors just started, yeah. who were, did well. I mean, Tisha Campbell, though, right, and then and then <laughs> like and then Tisha Campbell and uh, AJ Johnson, the two like main female leads, they feel like they're acting. Can I, I, say? I oh, you, you go ahead. I know, I just I interviewed once the um. The girl from Martin, Pam. Yeah, I thought that was Pam and Martin. Yo, people do that. People, I've heard that before. And I was, I was like, Yo, you that. in House Party is my favorite. She's like, uh, I wasn't in House Party. Oh like, man, because Martin and Tisha, yeah, right, come from House Party. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I was like, Oh, they, oh, they were all they took her too. Yeah, that. it's yeah. not even her. Martin yeah. apparently, I read, is related to somebody, like either the writer of the movie, like Martin oh, was really? related to someone because that was his second movie he did after. Uh, do the right thing. Yeah. And it was like, he was related to someone, like, I guess, uh, above the line, you know, producer, director, right. somebody. So that's how he got in the movie. And and house like, party. And house party. Oh. Like, that's crazy. And what's, what's, what's interesting about him, too, right? Because he's one of the few, there are a couple people in the movie, like, if you watch it, like, they go on to be, like, huge stars. Yeah. Right? He's one of them. But, like, in the movie, is he, like, is he good? Like, he's comic relief. You know what I mean? Like, is, but is he, like, a good actor in the movie? I mean, he's. Mar- I mean, the thing is, I don't think he yeah, needs to be. I don't, right? Like, what do you like, mean a good actor? Like, well, like, a, like, like a thespian? Well, like, like yeah, well, like, does he? Does he lose himself in the character, or does anybody lose themselves in the characters in this movie? I, I, mean, I, think I it, believed everybody. Yeah, I believed he was that annoying DJ. Yeah, but then at the time he was just the annoying DJ. Then we learned. That that's Martin, yeah. right? Yeah, that yeah. character yeah. then became the television show character Martin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess now if you look back at it, yeah, he wasn't like killing it in that. I mean, like, do, you know what sense. I mean? Like, do you look at that movie and go, oh, "That guy's gonna be a star"? No, you know what I mean? No, no, like, no. no. But you, but I yeah, but like you get a lot of times. Know. Yeah, a lot of times you never know. Like, you never right. know. Yeah. The only movie I ever saw that I ever saw like someone was gonna be a star was I watched was it Doubt. And like Viola uh-huh. Davis had like six minutes, and I was like, "Oh shit, this is like good." <laughs> what what yeah. movie? Uh, Doubt. Like she got nominated for like an Oscar for Which eight minutes. It right. was like when the 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 priest. It was a did the priest touch the little oh, boy? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the mom and was like, Judy "I Dan. don't yeah. care." Yeah. I was like, "Oh, you don't care?" Yeah. She had me. I, I was like, <laughs> right. "Viola, you won." But this is my thing, okay? Because I was like, just you know, I have a strong dislike for like uh, rappers acting, mm-hmm. but. For this movie, I can't honestly say besides um, ah, what's the, what's the bad guys? If you what's the name? Full, full force. Snag, snag besides full, besides yeah, full force, for instance, I don't consider like kid and play like full on rappers because they didn't get a rap career until after. Like the house movie party. is what the house is. What? They, they were they were they were rappers before. They had yeah. to have been right. They've been they out since like eighty six, eighty seven. Oh they my had bad, two albums y'all. before that. And Are so, you serious? And, yeah. and 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 so was every everybody everybody all of the the. The like the rappers that are in it, or the the hip hop stars that are in it, they all had like careers oh, at the time, yeah. and like, and it was like it was it was almost like a novelty to see them in the in the movie. But like being in 1994 years old <laughs> for, for me, right? Yeah, yeah. I have no understanding of that. I'm just yeah, looking yeah. at a movie with with people that are like that are like really I think are really funny and doing a great job, which makes me think about like rappers in movies no, I and went, like yeah, I went to go see. 
not I'm not gonna say they're my favorite rappers, but I went to go see a rap group that I like in a movie. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah. yeah, they were like big. And, it, and we talked about this when we talked about um, Barbershop, but I, I was I talked about how excited I was that like Ice Cube and like Eve were like gonna be in a movie, and I imagine like. If, if for a movie like this, where they were like, "We're gonna offer this to DJ Jeff and the Fresh Prince," okay, we can't get them. We're right. gonna offer this to Kid and Play. We're gonna populate it with, with hip hop stars, and then we're gonna not only do that, we're gonna utilize it. We're gonna have raps show up throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. We're gonna dance throughout the movie. I don't know. I mean, like, it just makes me. I mean, it felt good to watch it, but I did watch this movie because we had uh, Natasha Rothwell on, um, and for some reason, we were talking about coming to America, and that in coming to America, uh, like. Eddie's love interest was like the pristine, like like fair skinned, yeah. straight haired woman, yeah. and then like the the her sister was like treated like yeah. a hoe in the movie. Yeah. And then watching this movie for some reason, I had that in my mind because like I feel yeah. like ever since I talked spoke to Natasha about it, like I've been thinking about it. And yeah. in this movie, a little bit, it's kind of the same. They do thing. the same thing. Like, same thing. Yeah. Tisha Campbell is like the beautiful like. Like, oh, I just care about me. And, Whereas the black friend is like, yeah, and Tisha Campbell's family. Was the one was, at the yeah. party, right. so they're like uppity, they're the uppity pristine. Yeah, yeah. and then mm-hmm. when they go pick up the they're, other girl, Sheraen, the whole it's family's the, in it's there. the hood. Like, right. yeah. remember some of that Dick Gregory? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy, and it's like, and even at one point, it's just. I mean, I think even at one point, even though she does it as a joke, uh, Chicha Campbell's character calls uh, AJ like she calls her a hoe. Yeah, Ho. like she yeah. even says yeah. it like, at she one does. point she yeah. in the says, movie, yeah. and I'm like. Ah oh, man, and, and the, she's way darker, right? She, yeah, she's yeah, much darker. Yeah, and the yeah. thing is, I never noticed it only because I probably never would have noticed it until recently. But until it's like a woman pointed out, until a woman pointed out that hey, yeah. darker, darker skinned women are usually like the the hoe or like the yeah. prostitute. And like in this they, movie, she is like. But they also kind of do the same with who they choose to cast, because like because they could have cast the movie, I guess, probably either way, right? Like play could have been. Uh, yeah. Play could have been. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the one character, the, right? The, they could have switched roles. There could have been a role reversal, but instead it was like no. And maybe, and maybe it also has to do with their, their, their energies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like their dynamic together. But like, <laughs> because because kids' dad. I'm like, look, man. Yeah, yeah he's very oh, dark. I'm Robert like, hey, Harris, yeah. Robert Harris. I'm like, hey, yo, look, man. But they have the line. Did you did you hear the line? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. they, so as it's he's walking down messages. the street, yeah. as he's walking down the street, he goes, "I should have never married that white girl." Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that was written or <laughs> no, if somebody was it. like, I saw in the in the trivia. Yeah, he uh, both him and John Witherspoon, they both improvised a lot of their lines. Right. That line like But like it's like improvised. somebody someone has to point it out like but Robin yeah. Harris is super dark. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> son, Chris so Chris like... that that Chris kid is he looks almost white. Like, right. You yeah. can tell he's half, but he's very light. Very, very and light. They had to say something about hey, it. You got to address the fact that uh, that ain't your kid. That, <laughs> that ain't your kid. I mean, but the movie, but the thing is like this movie just has so much like it was so much positive vibes in it. Like I feel like the fact that even though you know Play was having a house party, yeah. like he was so conscious about like like about mm. respecting his mother's yeah. stuff. Yeah, sure. He's like, man, don't, everything he said was, "Don't break my mom's blah blah blah. Don't yeah. break my mom's blah blah." It was always yeah. my mom's. Yeah, he this, got my mad mom's about that. the whole thing, yeah. like because people were disrespecting. This yeah. why I can't have parties because y'all don't respect. You and know? like, do they even like one dude goes home drunk, but like, do they even really talk about drinking all that much in the movie? Like, oh, they do. They do, kid. And, uh, oh, my goodness, I got to look up the actor's name. But he's the one who keeps bumping the table at yeah. one point. Oh, yeah. They both yeah. call yeah. him out for stop drinking that Oh, he's a piss. rapper, too. Yeah. He is. Yeah. yeah. I forgot his name. Uh, D- uh, Daryl Mitchell. Yeah, but his he... rap name. Chill. Chill, yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the other guy's Groove. And yeah, Groove be yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Groove be chill. He's like, man, stop, stop drinking that monkey piss. It's going to mess you up. Yeah. Like, man, this is what you want to drink. You got to be in, man. Make sure dick rock, huh? Yeah. And they both look down. And they're like, no, nah, man. And it's like, <laughs> it's a match that's basically saying, don't drink. Don't drink. Yeah. yeah. Don't drink because you can't have sex. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't. <laughs> that's what the message is. Don't drink because you can't have teenage sex. Yeah. <laughs> but even that teenage sex is protective sex. Because they, they hit on that right. twice. They hit on yeah. that twice. Like, when kid and, uh, <laughs> Uh, did she get away together? Yeah. Natasha Campbell, like, you don't have no uh, protection? Man, I, man, I shouldn't even ask. But that's why I like you, because you do care. Right, and right, you right. do ask. Yeah. And the kid goes in that tower, like, man, y'all some dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you right. It's literally a moment where they're like, yeah, you right, man. And then another <laughs> thing that, another message that it hits on is um, 
you're not supposed to keep condoms in warm places because yeah. then they melt. They yeah. <laughs> no, no, I did not. I, no one. Did, no one told me that when I was younger. Should have watched House Party like, more closely. Yeah. Then, 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 like the condom uh, like crumbles. Yeah, in it does. Yeah. Because, because like as a dude, you're like, oh, I'm going to put it. Like I had a little wallet. You put it in your wallet. Next yeah. thing you got that little imprint on the yep. outside. So everybody knows you ain't get laid <laughs> like forever or no, ever. You never got Because you just got a big ass circle Everyone on your wallet. Everyone sees that condom that you have in your wallet. They're just like, what date is on that? Like, what do you mean a date? Like, you know, they, they expire. What? That was like knowledge to me. <laughs> they expire? You can't use this oh, yeah, no more, inspired. dude. I didn't know that. I didn't know they were like a different quality. Like I just was like, oh, I want the colorful ones. That's what you saw in the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those are the cheap ones you don't <laughs> want. Yeah, those ain't good, man. Kids, we got we gotta have a movie <laughs> that just teaches you about straight sex that make you safe and like you don't do the like the the crazy sex and the the condoms that don't work <laughs> and the kids actually would just all you have to do is really watch house party because it is a lesson <laughs> a in lesson, itself. <laughs> a lesson in what, what not to do and the real estate in the movie because john witherspoon yells out i paid fifteen thousand yes yeah, right. yes fifteen thousand dollars and he was on a t- that was like a three where are those house. houses at <laughs> <laughs> but where does House Party even take place? Is it L.A.? Uh, I wanted to bring oh, that yeah, up. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Does it there say, is, it yeah, it's generic town, USA. Like, they never say where it is. Yeah, it's yeah. never addressed, right? It's definitely, yeah. I mean, I guess it is L.A. where they shot it, but it's not New York. Yeah, it's definitely not. But they not. never say, because everybody in the movie is from New York, or a lot of people, yeah. they're from New York. But, like, we talked about how, right, about, like, how if they depicted the ghetto, right? Right? And they also show, like, this really nice area. But I like... But what I like about it is, like, I feel like they don't shit on one side versus the other. No, it's I, a neighborhood. Yeah. They just show it, right? Yeah, they, they just show like, you that you are in high school. Yeah. yeah. It's just when you get out of high school that you start meeting other people that are, like, segregated or yeah. talk about it in a bad way. It's like, in high school, you're just all you friends. Just, it, it, yeah, yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter, right, yeah. as much. And I think that, like, that's one of the things about the movie that I, that I like a lot is that like is you you see those areas and you just get to see them it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a commentary even though maybe that, you yeah. can glean one in it you know you could well yeah there's always jokes to be made yeah, yeah. like the dick gregory thing is a oh good job and, and, and what he's watching right he's yeah. watching the um the old school commercials of like those mix CDs or right. those CDs, yeah. like those compilation like love songs. No, you gotta get you. Yeah, <laughs> those are like that's a very like that's a that got a big laugh in the movie because like those commercials used to be on all the time. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it was crazy because I remember like uh, that one scene where like Full Force comes up to like Play's house to try to get in the party. And like plays first line is nah no hoods at my party yeah because to me what's important about that is I feel like when you have like movies usually if it's a movie that a black director is not a part of usually you're gonna have one or the other either you're gonna have like right. a black villain or a black hero but you don't get both and I'm not right. saying either one's a villain or not but you don't have like the wide spectrum of just seeing everything that exists in right. like a community right you know so it's cool to see like these they're all from the same school but like you have like kid and play play who's still a little bit more urban i guess you will than kid but he still yeah. knows like these dudes right. like are bad news right yeah. these you know guys are bad news these guys are bad news and they and they and you because you see all sides you see people in the party right that are that behave similarly to the hoods right yeah. but like but but it's not you don't have to talk it's not because they act a certain way that they are it's like you know what i mean it's their state of mind or like yeah very true it, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, I just it, watch this movie. I remember a bunch of lines growing up, which I guess we shouldn't have said because we were young. But like, uh, when they had the door, you know what I smell? Yeah. I smell, and it was like, yeah, and it, and it was like, I smell pussy. But then all of a sudden, like the great comeback of, uh, what is it? Uh, I guess you guys you smell guess pussy because you're a bunch, bunch of dicks. Yeah. And I was like, I just love that like battle between <laughs> the two, and it, and the way it was shot, which is so crazy, is that like the door split everybody. So yeah. like. Like, for instance, when they said the I smell pussy part, like, the camera just tilted a little bit, so you see them, cuts back the inside, like, behind the house, so you see, like, them do, like, because you're a bunch of dicks, door slams, I'm like, oh! That's a be- <laughs> that, that was, like, especially for, like, a first-time director, like, that's a good, that's a good direction. Like, yeah, right, I mean, know? and, like, and <clears throat> Reginald, right, went to Harvard, and then went on to be, like, he's a, he's a, he's a producer of Django. He yeah. uh, was uh, an EP on Boondocks, like, the first episode, and I guess... Had a fallen out and isn't there anymore, right? I mean, that first season of Boondocks is phenomenal, but right, like, and, and 
voices like this, I mean, and, and feel what you want. I looked up on, I looked up on, uh, uh, on his, um, uh, Wikipedia black Twitter page on his oh, black Twitter. Okay. Black Twitter gives you uh, all the good deals, man. <laughs> That he <laughs> listeners, if y'all fake and y'all trying to go on a trip, y'all better go on Black Twitter because no airline tickets Twitter. come. <laughs> the, man, I know so many black folk who went to like Abu Dhabi and <laughs> shit, like for twenty five dollars. Did y'all oh, hear about this? Up. Black Twitter. Like last side note, just for everybody, Black Twitter, y'all getting a shout out. Last like Christmas season or whatever, a couple of airlines did some like some glitch happened, so you can get like in the United States, it was Delta. Tickets anywhere in the U.S., it was like you paid for the tax. Right. And then, like, a lot of people were like, oh, snap, you go to this other airline, this sister airline, you could go to, like, the Middle East. What? Or, like, and I, how did you find How did you find it? People found it on Black Twitter. It was like okay, somebody so posted, hey, niggas, cheap tickets. Get these <laughs> things with a link. <laughs> and, like, people got them. Ah, I man. found out two days late. Two Make days sure late. you check out uh, Black Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I, what I was going to say about the director uh, with – on Boondocks, there are these two unaired episodes where they shit on him, and in one of them, they say that he is culturally insensitive buffoon coasting on his Ivy League education. Oh, okay? wow. Which made me think about this movie, House Party, and how it relates to the cause. But they were right? talking about Reginald? About Reginald, talking about him. Culturally oh. insensitive buffoon coasting on his Ivy League education, right? Mm. So it's a real wow. smart director who does, if you look at the movie, it's technically a very... Well made. Oh, it's definitely right. Yeah, and and the depiction of black people actually, I personally have do not have an issue with. Right, but that makes me think about the movie. Right, like is, you know, is a movie like this is that culturally insensitive? Uh, do you see, know what I mean? See, like, this is this is a tough thing because I feel like it's that well, question of like, and it sucks, man. And I and I've been I've done it before in my life. It's like when. Someone represents the hood or the urban area, but they're yeah. not from it. Even though, even though they may be black, it's like it's almost it's almost like why why are you the one? Why are you the one making this movie? Like, <laughs> why are you, you, you the voice? You like yeah, you yeah. Haven't, you haven't been here. You don't know us really. And it's not saying anything against them, but it's like I feel like that's what that question. That's is. That's where like, that comes from. It's like yeah. you're supposed to be representing us, but you don't know anything about us. We're just brown. We all just have the and it's that weird thing of like even with comedy, for instance. Like there's you know it's a lot of things happening in comedy, and it's like. We have brown faces represent us, but right. it's like do those brown faces represent what where I'm from, or is it just they're just brown to be brown? You yeah, know? It's, and it's, it's I thing. feel like it's a it's a hard thing too because like you know like in thinking about his his career in general, something I also saw on his wiki was that like he ha- is has been known for like he has lampooned BET in some yeah. of his work. But then went on to be the president of BET for like three or four years. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like wait, there's two of them, right? Weren't they brothers? Yeah, uh-huh. brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a brother that was also also a director, filmmaker. Um, I mean, uh, but I, BET, everybody makes fun of BET. Though. I mean, but like, but it's it, you know, like, and and I feel like that's an important thing to bring up as it relates to our show because like, we, what are we ta- like the things that we're talking about are depictions of black people in depictions of black people in movies. And like, and does is it helpful or does it hurt? And like, and I I think that there's a deeper question of it of like, you know, like black people talking about black people and what it then ultimately means. You know, like uh, it's an interesting question. I think it's, it's super layered. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's just, no right yeah. or wrong answer. Like right. it's hard to like like who it, it's it's like that. I don't know. I feel like a lot of things lately are like you can't win, you can't lose. Like. Yeah. Whatever one thing good happens, yeah. they'll point out the bad <laughs> and vice bad versa. Ending. Like, yeah. like where's he? Where are they from? Those brothers or where's Reginald? Like, was oh, he not so from yeah, the hood? Did he from, get? I know they're from like the the suburbs. But... Yeah. Yeah, but so what? Like, but so what? Don't we yeah. strive? <laughs> don't, we, <laughs> like, don't we want to? Back then, didn't we strive to like? I mean, not no more. I, I I did that whole move and I didn't like it. But yeah, that's like the dream. Yeah, to get like a home in the suburbs, like. I don't know. Matter of fact, I don't even think he is from that. Hold on, no, no. Oh, snap, he directed Boomerang? Yeah, Yo. he directed Boomerang. I love me some Boomerang. Great man. White Hype. Uh, he's from <laughs> Centerville, Illinois. I know, yeah, yeah, I know a lot of stuff he did. I just didn't know he did House Party. I didn't know that was yeah, his first thing. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, and and I don't know, and I think that, like, what, what 
I think that this movie, at least for me, my opinion about that, like you said, is super layered. And what I like about what happens in the movie, and we've already said it, it's a reiteration, but like what happens in the movie is they just sort of show life, you know? Yeah. They don't they don't have That's to they don't, like they don't have it. to talk about it. What some of my the parts that I enjoyed almost the most was the scenes in Shireen's house with like every time they showed the family just bored staring at the yeah. TV. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, showing their kid just pouring an yeah, entire sugar. <laughs> bag of <laughs> sugar in that Kool-Aid. Right. Like it was like like uh, there, there's a joke that I think is hilarious. That is literally just the girl gets up out of the chair. Yes, I was about to do And then that. she goes to sit down in the chair. And she's like, I'm coming back. And she's right. like, you snooze, you lose. And they spend so much time on that right. moment of yeah. just That's taking real, her spot in the chair because it's so real. So real. And I, and, and I mean like that. And I'm coming back. I know. I'm coming back. <laughs> but people do that all the time. It's like, oh, wait, I'm coming back. I'm coming so you trying to leave something. And people are like, trying I'm to moving. save that chair. Because <laughs> in your house. In, in your, your own house. house. Hey, I remember my little cousins, like we were growing up and like. People were like, if it was like a, a folding chair like we're sitting in right now, my little cousins would take the chair with them. Like, they'd be like, <laughs> like, they'd be like hey, this is my hey, chair. This is my chair, the man. <laughs> they would take the chair just so you can have that chair. <laughs> and they look at you as you're like, hey, man. <sighs> and it gives you like one of those looks. And I think, oh, oh man. man, I think it's too funny. I think it's too funny. I mean, but this movie is missing something rather important, yo. Oh, uh, what is it? Ain't no white women in this movie, yo. There are no white There's women in this movie. There's a principle. I don't think. Well, it's, the, yeah, there's a principle. principle. Oh, oh, no. That's a great line. Why would you call him a garden <laughs> tool? I know that, that was the best thing ever. <laughs> his, oh, his kid's man. mom in a photo, I think. Oh, no. Maybe. That might be House Party 2. Okay. Oh, yeah. Where, yeah, yeah. where they felt yeah, like it, it, it was Jamal's. It was Jamal's. It was Jamal. It was Jamal's. Uh, that was the dude, the white dude with the dreads. No, I think. I, I don't remember now. I, remember I, think like, I think Kid looks at a picture of his mom because she obviously oh, passed away. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's why Robin Harris is is single. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's yeah. right. There's the cops. Oh, you're talking about just white women? I'm talking women. about white women. White women. You know white women. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's no Puerto Ricans in the movie either. I don't, think, I'm gonna, I don't think that it's... I don't think this movie is missing that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there was any need for a white woman. It's crazy, movie. though. There is really no <laughs> white people in the movie. But, which is crazy. Cause, yeah, because it's like there is none. It was like yeah. a solely... Represent, it was like It just represents like... A black neighborhood, and I was like, "This is probably the coolest." Yeah, yeah but there yeah. still would be white people at a black neighborhood well, party. I, man, no, man. The thing is, like, I Not as silly as it sounds, uh, outside of like, like going to visit my cousins who lived in a rich neighborhood, I didn't have an interaction with white people until I was in high school. Like, I just never. Where did you just, live? Southeast DC. Is that? Is I that mean, it was part? like it wasn't. I don't know. The, it, I don't oh, know. sorry. I don't know the sorry. direction. I don't, know, I don't know why we always say southeast. It was. Like, I mean, it wasn't the best place okay. in the world. But yeah. we just. I just never. I mean, I, there were no white kids around. It was like just never. You just never saw anybody. And they like, and I think that like they made they with the movie. Like you know, the only time they really wanted to talk about race was like dealing with those white cops. And I yeah, think that true, like yeah. it made them stand out enough true. where it was, but like to a point where it didn't seem like they were beating it over our heads. You right. Know? Yeah, yeah, very. Like true. like they made those interactions always funny. Yeah. You know, they never went to. Any other witness never dipped into like serious for right, anyone, yeah, yeah. you know? Like they they let that moment be light, and I think oh, yeah. like you know I and I you know I think it made me with a complicated. I mean, no, it's true, but it's, it's it's funny because I'm just thinking in my head like uh, I don't know why you said that. It popped the Bilal, the Bilal, the Martin Lawrence scene yeah. where like Martin Lawrence is trying to do like. Kid, I mean, players convince Martin to like you know DJ the party. Yeah. So like Bilal has all this gear, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, yo man, come. You know, come scoop me, whatever. Kid shows up mad late with a chick in the car. Bilal goes nuts, right? <laughs> Messes up his gear, leaves that man for hours. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Things, they never say how long, but like you know, it's daytime. When yeah, right. and the then game. it's yeah. night nighttime when they get back. back to. He has a yeah. cop full of women. He's fresh, and it's just like I re- for some reason that just reminds me of just like this kid growing up of like you always just accidentally took advantage of him. Like you didn't oh, mean yeah. to, but he was just so nice. Like, hey, dude, I'll be right back. Yeah. Like, oh, don't yeah. worry about it. Hey man, like and you give him a bottle of water or something, like and just dip. They'd be like, "Oh man, anybody go get?" I think that might have been me. <laughs> was that what you? Was, you? That you? was it? Oh no, Sly. You just had a bunch of parties for no money. Hope, oh, like, question though was like, like what made you want to get in the mute and like the DJ? Was it like because I feel like early nineties, uh, like DJing cool. was a thing. Like that was like it was an art that like, like yeah. people cared. You know, yeah, what I'm oh, they definitely cared way more than they do now. Um... But I got into music because it's funny. Uh, I'm from the Bronx, and hip hop was just around everywhere. But I wasn't into it like that. Mm-hmm. But then tenth grade, I moved to Long Island, which was like a white suburban town, and 
watching videos and listening to hip hop kept me close to like uh, where home. I came from. Yeah. And that's where like I started getting into like more music, like studying it and learning it and learning how to DJ and all that stuff. So it definitely came from like being sent to another place. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have even got into it if I was still back home. True. Because this movie yeah. feels like at least, you know, like we said, sci fi is the show, uh, Take It Personal, which is like hip hop and comedy. Like this movie here, which yeah. I didn't realize, and I just it dawned on me, like when I just turned to look at you, it's like this movie represents like those two worlds coming yeah. together. When like, I, yeah. yeah, when I created the, the Take It Personal show, I would always try to find any connection between hip hop and improv. Mm. And like this movie had, like you definitely know John Witherspoon was improvising. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like you can oh, tell. You feel it. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like yeah, and other. Yeah. I wonder if there's any other parts. Oh, I feel like the whole. I feel like when the dad comes in, uh, to the to the party, I feel like his whole like they just let him just roast. Right. Yeah, he, yeah. Just, he just roast the yeah, kids. Yeah, like, yeah. There's no. It's well, that's no what he's purpose. known for. Yeah. 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 In the comedy clubs, that's what he was known for. It's like there's no purpose for him to roast these kids. Yeah, it's like nah. you know what? <laughs> yeah. Do it. Just like and yeah, I feel like that was just, this will make this moment yeah. even better. If yeah. You just like shit on all the kids. One of the kids that he that he roasts. Is uh uh side this is a complete sidebar because I want to get back to the site, but uh is uh AJ Johnson, the uh comedian who's oh in, yeah uh, oh he yeah plays uh, Izell in uh, in Friday and yeah uh, he's on a, yeah you, j- you just you see him for like a second yeah it's just like him like he has a Jerry curl <laughs> yeah like, yeah I mean I I like yeah I, I feel like you know Robin was just roasting people it was like oh dude do what you want real quick. Yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> do what you want so did you did when did you you feel like when did you s- want to start to make the connection between uh uh dj and, or between hip hop and comedy uh, uh when i got to ucb cuz well I, or when did you want to start doing comedy i guess first is my first question well like okay i i realize now it's always been in my mind but i didn't know how to manifest it yeah but like even watching Fresh Prince of Bel Air is a good example of it. Yeah, and um, my house party, for example, and um, like I got into like I didn't know I was funny. Yeah, like I was like road trip funny, like make my friends laugh in the car. But I never thought I wanted to be a comedian. Yeah, I always loved comedy, but never thought I wanted to do it. Yeah, and then um, like I noticed. What I was a DJ on the radio, and what got me to be an air personality is my boss was like, "You say funny stuff when you DJ." Yeah, and I was like, "I'm just saying me." I didn't yeah. know. Was, yeah, I didn't know there was a, a profession or lane to be funny. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. just like, I was just saying just me be me, funny stuff. <laughs> now I realize when I look back, oh, I was always improvising. Yeah, I was always dropping one liners or coming up with sketches. Like when I did the morning show. I only wanted to do it because it was an opportunity to be funny and we were broadcasting. I was almost kind of done with music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when I got the morning show, it was like, oh, I could talk every morning and come up with bits. Yeah. It'd be funny. And it's, it's like, I wish I would have like wrote it down because technically I was writing. Right. Yeah. Like every day I would come up with a new bit. I don't even remember them anymore because, but that, now as I started taking classes at UCB and then once you get to UCB, you get, you know, you get. You, uh, just, you, you jump in. I was jumping for like two <laughs> yeah. years, yeah. and then I realized what a writer was and what yeah. what like late night writers were and mm-hmm. SNL writers, and I was like, I I did all that right. already, and like and and I feel like your feeling of like um, not even realize you were doing it right has something to do with like what that weird connection of hip hop and comedy is, right? Yeah, because I I feel like it's like there is well, like a there's always skits, yeah, like De La Soul. I, I think they kind of get credit. For having the first skits, I think there was a couple other ones before that. But De La Soul had like, like every three songs there was like a funny interlude or yeah. something. Like yeah, a skit. yeah, and like stuff like that. I always loved it, and like, uh, and then I got into um, who else had a really funny one? Oh, that's Black funny Sheep. Point. Yeah. They have like funny sketches in between, skits in between. Um, that's skits. so funny. Yeah, it's like when I'm thinking about like listening back to like, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking of like various. Uh, the back of various album covers I had yeah, growing yeah. up, and it always had like a skit. It was, it was like interlude. The, it yeah. was always. Say, yeah. I mean, sometimes sometimes it was straight up sale. I'm trying to think of one. Like, I mean, this is probably a bad example, but we all love Will Smith. So bring it up. Yeah. I think of like uh, was it um, uh, Big Willie style? He would literally put. I forgot what the character Jamie Foxx. Keep be real. Keep be real. It was a like, keep, keep be real, real. Yeah. skit. 
part one. Yeah. Right. And it'd yeah. be like just straight up, like you yep. knew a comedy break was coming and then back into the music. But like, even, and, but even beyond that though, I think that like, and you can probably speak a little bit more to this, uh, Cypher, but like even just in the music itself, the, the rhythms and the, you know, like there's well, the core of hip hop. Yeah. I'm talking about day one, the core was to make fun of the other guy. Right. Mm. That's what battling was. Mm. Like right? in, 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 in this movie, the, my, the, I thought it was incredible and didn't even realize how good a rappers they were until hearing this line. Uh, when, when kid goes, uh, cause kid pe- spelled backwards best describes yeah, you. Yeah, I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> oh no! But he was like, "Come to the mic," but it just blew up. Like I was like, no, "Yeah, yeah, step to the dis- stage." Hold up! I just blew it up. Right. It's like what? <laughs> and, 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 and like, and 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 then I, and and then I was thinking, having seen this movie a million times, oh shit, is play gonna let him end it like that? Yeah. Like, are they gonna go on? And they stopped there, and I was like, "Wow!" They even allowed that to be the way it ended. Right. I just thought that that was so powerful. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's but that's the whole point of it. That's you were like real. Not battle raps nowadays where everything is like, I'll kill your mother, go to the funeral. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Right. But like original battling was like, your haircut looks fucked up. Your jeans right. are fucked up. And it's like, yeah. it, you laugh. Like, it was funny. And like, and, and, okay, so, and this is kind of crazy, but like, even that, like, when a good song comes on, you're like, ha <laughs> ha. Like, when, like, when you want to <laughs> laugh yeah. because a good song right, has come right, on. Yeah. Um, uh, feel good. You feel good I, about that moment, and you, you know? could dance, which is so funny. I'm probably about to date myself again. It's like, I feel like a lot, and I love. First of all, I, I party to trap music all day, every day. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like now the music we listen to, like when we people like turn up, it is still music talking about like drugs and killing. Whereas like back in like the kid in play, like. Tony Tony Tone, it was like, feel good. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a hook. And then the, you could party, and women okay, like, people were still grinding, as you saw on the video. People were still partying without having to say, shake your ass or something yeah, like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, without, yeah. without me telling you to, like, oh, twerk or something. Way, it's crazy. Way too descriptive nowadays. Right? Like, right. Guys, we get it. I, we, we, yeah. we did the same things back, back the in the day. The movie shows you you can do it without being like, hey, yeah. Twerk for a real nigga. Like, yeah. they <laughs> right, did it yeah. without yeah, you can, you saying can it that. Without yeah. any of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that dance sequence, oh. um, the dance off, and I was trying to look I was trying to look up the name. What was it called? The, ah, people call it the kick step, but that's the yeah, wrong the name. Dance. That's, that's the wrong name. Oh, it's not called that. It's called something else? Step. The kid in play step. It's, ah, people call it the kick step, but it has like, it's a, it's a person's name that they gave it. it oh, it, really? It almost sounds like. I just thought it was kid in play. It almost yeah. sounds like the Carlton is what it. Ah, it's a dumb. Like, I look it up. But it's like, that dance alone. This movie is what came out in 1990. That dance is still that, relevant today. Yeah. That dance made me DJ. That because, dance? What? Because I was like, I want to <laughs> dance, and I can never get it. I was like, maybe I should DJ because that's, because that's, that's a technical th- thing that you, if you practice, you'll get better at. Yeah, yeah. Dancing is from the soul, man. You got to feel yeah, that. I could, <laughs> I could never do it, yo. <laughs> I, to this day, I can't do it. I uh, anytime you play like an old school reggae and people start doing it, I get jealous. Like, damn, no, I can't. And I, I've done, I uh, have done that dance, like a, a mock of that dance. Oh, you found it? It's called, it's called the Funky Charleston. The Funky really? Charleston. Oh, right, because they start doing yeah. the Charleston, yeah, and then they the go into Charleston. like a, a kick, yeah, and then they swing around. Swing I've, around. I've, the back kick. That dance rocks. Man. I've done that dance like uh, in. A couple different ways, like like on st- I'll do it on stage, like if like if like uh, an improv scene calls for it, or yeah. like and I've done and I'm, I'm in this uh, hip hop web web series where like that was one of the only dances I could do. But then I realized after watching this movie that it is way more involved than the kick connect and the oh, spin. Yeah. Because you got to <laughs> yeah. because when you spin when you spin you do two back kicks like you somehow do two back That's kicks. Like right. crazy. You got to connect. The, yeah, you got to connect the soles of your feet. Right. Yeah. You crazy. dance out spin, and then you do it again. It's crazy. But I, then. It's funny because uh, I can't remember her name. Um, she plays Tasha uh, uh, in the film. She was a, chore- I mean, a choreographer, so she choreographed the girls' dance yeah. to battle them. She's in the movie? She's in the movie. Yeah, um, AJ, AJ Johnson. AJ Johnson, there's, yes. There's two uh, AJ Johnsons yes, in the movie. The female. One of them is the one. The female, <laughs> yeah. the female oh, yeah, AJ the Johnson. The comedian is AJ yeah, yeah. Johnson. He goes by Anthony Johnson in this movie. Oh, oh because yeah. she's yeah. – I've actually ran into her <laughs> once. Like, you ran I've, into I've her? I ran into her two years ago, y'all. Wow. Uh and I was like, "How was that for you?" I was like, "I knew who she was." And I was my <laughs> swirl music started playing. Oh my in the god, back. <laughs> it's, it's, probably, it's probably the most embarrassing thing I've ever said to anybody. Which is, I don't know if it's disrespectful, it might be. I remember I was kind of drunk because it was like someone's party, like in Hollywood. And I was like, "Damn, 
you look good. And it was like, in my head, I was in my head, I was just thinking of like, oh, I've shit. known, I've known what you look like since I was a kid. Yeah. Like, so like that means you're like the ages of like my aunts and my cousins. And I'm like, but you. And then out loud to her face, you it was said, it was a straight. Good. It was like, what did it she was say? Like, she giggled and said, "Thank you." Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh my god, we. It was a moment. Yeah, but to her, she took it as a compliment because all she heard was. Damn, you look good. But in your mind was like, wait, this bitch is old. Yeah. <laughs> She's like my aunt. But she looks pretty good for an old shit. Because <laughs> they called me, cause it called oh, me off guard. Because I was right. like, Cause it, yeah, because in my head I'm like, hold on, wait, wait. It, you're doing math real quick. Like, hold on, wait, let me see. This ain't just, damn. <laughs> like, shit, I need to take care of myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I thought. Like, I need to do whatever this is. Shoot. Man. She in there drinking straight almond milk or something because her skin was perfect. <laughs> I was like, she sound like a leather jacket. She's drinking straight almond milk. Almond milk. <laughs> because almond milk is good for the skin, skin right? <laughs> her skin is good. It's like straight al- Yo, I remember the outfit she was wearing. That's how good she was. <laughs> she had on like, I don't know what women call it, like the one, the one piece like pants thing, but it was like kind of tight but kind of loose. It was black, brown belt, leather jacket ago. on top. Two years ago, maybe longer. Wow. I Killing. Remember, and why I remember, did you run into her? Where were you at? My, my friend, like, my friend worked at, he worked at BET, and I guess it was during the BET war, so they had, like, some yeah. event, and, like, we went, and she was just chilling. I'm like, man, man who is with you? You better get over here by yourself. Like, man. Her head still was the same hairstyle almost from house parties. It was, like, to the side. She's like a big curly. choreographer and, like, a fitness. Yeah. She's, like, she a was, fitness yeah. person. Like, man, like woman, I well, love you. the dance sequence is... Legendary, <laughs> but I hate when people music do it wrong. Too, though. Oh, the, oh Yo, and the music is the home. The soundtrack was crazy. Like the Flavor Flav song, like, yeah. I can't do nothing for you, man. Like that's a dope yeah. ass record. I mean, and I Full like, Force record. Oh yeah. yeah, and the thing is, they interweaved like hip hop so well. Just like yeah, I mean, even when they had uh, Kid rap in the uh, prison yeah. in yeah. the jail, I was like. Oh, yeah. Like that was a very creative way to do. Right, you know, Kid right. got a lot of love in this like, movie. It was like man. a musical, right? It was. At the end, was like a musical. Like he was rapping of what he was, was happening around yeah. the yeah. moment. And yeah. then even at the even at the 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 party they crashed the uppity party with George Clinton just hanging. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. George Clinton, party. y'all cracked out. I heard a George Clinton story recently. Can I tell it? Oh, please, please. tell, man, please. He, he goes, it's very short. He got somebody was working with him. They were basically saying how good of a businessman he was because he has a lot of people around him. Like, and if like he'll do certain concerts, and you know they're not as big as they used to be. Like, you know, yeah. more like yeah. theaters. So if they reach a certain amount, they get a bonus. But a lot of times the promoters don't they're give you the to, real number. To, yeah. Yeah. So he'll have someone stand outside with a with a clicker and count all the people that come in. So when you go to him at the end about the oh we don't have the bonus, he's like yeah, he's like yeah, check the numbers, but. They all work for basically nothing because they're all like crackheads. <laughs> and, 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 they, and they said George Clinton was smoking crack. And somebody said to him, like, yo, what? like shock, looking at him like shock. And he was like, what you looking at? He was like, no, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what you're doing. And he goes, man, you don't die from smoking crack. You die from the things you got to do to get some crack. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm good. Yo. <laughs> like, yo, son, that's yo, is that some real uh, shit? <laughs> Aren't both of those things true? Yo. Like, isn't it like that? <laughs> yo, that's so real. The thing is, I couldn't imagine him saying that. Only because I just I just keep thinking about, like, every time you hear about a celebrity, like a real celebrity story, like, yeah. you listen. I brought it up here on here before, but, like, Chris Tucker, his special, he talks about hanging with Wesley Snipes. And Wesley Snipes being like, Blade don't pay taxes. And yeah. it's like little shit like that. It's like the, the shit that people <laughs> think in their head, yo. Yes. It's yes. like, the- yeah, nigga, people die from smoking crack. <laughs> like, that's a, like, that's a thing. Are wrong. You can't say that. <laughs> yeah, like, that's a legit, that's a thing to say. But, I mean, listen, man, he's a functional crackhead. So it's like, hey, God so bless, So to man. him, it's different. To and him, he, he to him he's like, absolutely. <laughs> I like it because in the movie, he's, what, is he a D? He, yeah, he's, he's like a playing, DJ. He's just playing DJ. records. Yeah. And then they, and then he scratches, like, because kid asked for a beat, right? He's like, like, what you got over there? <laughs> yeah, and he's like, and he gets that's hyped. The, that's the one thing I hate about all movies ever is they just never get the DJing right. Yeah. Ever. Uh, yeah. Ever. Like, I, I don't even know if the turntables were hooked up into the mixer. <laughs> and that scene. Let me tell you what's so crazy about that. Um, this is, sorry, a tangent. See, you got to beat Braylock. No, but right. it, uh, But it, uh, uh. Uh, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. I was thinking that too. I was about yeah, straight to bring out of Compton. I remember it, there was an interview with the guy who plays a uh, Dr. Dre and about how meticulous Dr. Dre was. There's a scene yeah. with like Dre DJing in like a bedroom. Yeah, yeah. 
and how Dre made him do that scene numerous times because right. he just didn't scratch right. right. Yeah. Like, you gotta scratch this properly because well, DJs, he... people who know, look at it. So oh, basically, yeah. Dre like. I guess like before the movie, like Dre sat with him, started teaching him, but he's like, they just did it over and over. But that he, can't be him do you, doing it, though. But do you feel he, like I mean, no? Some I of think it, it is. It looks like it is. Like they it like looks like it, but that, that's some no, I know. amazing DJ. That 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 would take years. Oh, like making the sound. Actually, yeah. making the well, yeah. I think oh, the yeah. sound they they matched it up good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but that can't be him doing do it. Think, but he but, definitely uh, portrayed it correctly. Right. Yeah. Do Do you think that they it was done? Do you how do you, do you think it was not done right in in House Party? Uh, no, <laughs> because who's the DJ? Because like Martin they have music, to do real the, the thing is they have musicians in the movie, yeah. But then they have Martin Lawrence as the DJ. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like an uh, actor playing the DJ, an actor playing the DJ. But like even like in the yeah, it's it's pretty good in House Party. Yeah, but still like the way he blends records and like the way the table gets bumped. Yeah, it, it's like a sound effect as opposed to how it, as opposed to how yeah, guess, what would really happen. Yeah, I mean, it's close, but just like when they show every time someone mocks DJing, they always put like their hand on the headphone. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's that's like seventies. Like yeah, yeah, DJing like you, when you had just one, there was it's no always, headphone thing. It's just always one, one on the yeah. pad, and you hold. That's like when people go like this and they hold their one hand to their ear and they're like, yeah, it's not uh, like that, yo. We should I mean, make a DJ. Movie, I mean, but yo. that I mean, and this I brought it up before, but that, that brings me back to like the way this movie was cast and why that stuff was important for the movie, right? Like yeah. we keep talking about like the fun, the fun hip hop element of it, and the movie is populated with hip hop stars, and that helps to bring that fun to the movie. But then you have people like Daryl Chill Mitchell who goes on to be like an actor yeah. and is really good. You know, like it's he's it's, in other it's, stuff, it's, right? Yeah. He's in tons of things. Yeah. You know, like I said, I mean he's not around as much. I don't it's think only I was looking he, at he he um he's paralyzed from the waist down now. He's paralyzed from the waist is down. Is he really? Yeah. I forgot what happened, but he he had a TV show on Fox with Michael Strahan. So it's hard for him, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's hard for him yeah. to get roles because I mean be, for, like, for that reason. For that oh, reason. Wow. But he but his acting ability like continues exponent like it grows exponentially after yeah. this and and so like that i mean that for me makes me and, th- and this is uh, probably an argument that we will continue to have but like that makes me kind of change my tune a little bit about r- rappers and actors in well movies. some some it's a, it's almost threefold some yeah. rappers are good actors yeah like Obviously, like let's say Will Smith, Will Smith obviously right? turned out to be one of the greatest. Yeah. yeah. But you know, th- there's no outlets when it comes like music is a a quick outlet to get to what you want, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. But like um, sometimes yeah, they just stick popular rappers in a movie just to just yeah, to get like just some. To get, yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and and even in this movie, Groove B Chill, for example. But they're that's not, why they weren't they're huge, in that movie. They're not, they the, weren't huge. But they but they were successful. They were a successful group, right? They they were uh, in the movie. Fans as of the movie. Yeah. Fans of the move. Fans of. Yeah, fans of House Party would like that Groove Be Chill was in the movie. Right. But they weren't. Yeah. But they weren't like. They weren't stars. Yeah. Huge or yeah. anything. They weren't like. Yeah. Man. But like the thing, I was. I have this theory, like, because you know Drake and Nicki Minaj are both actors. Yeah. Yeah. Nicki like Minaj they, just got a, a script deal yeah. at, at But they both ABC studied family. acting first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, right. I think Drake and they're both mega talented. Yeah. Rhyme wise, which is we know being a dope rapper means almost nothing. It's yeah. what yeah. you do no. with it and how you showcase yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But they're both to me, they're both actors playing rappers. Yeah, yeah. That's a good both of them, because think about how successful they are and all the moves that they make. Yeah. And they're yeah. huge. Yeah. They're the hugest. Yeah. I'm not talking about her titties. I mean, and that's no. a great way to look. I mean, but they also are too. the hugest. Her that's a great way to look too. at it. That's a great way to look at it, Cypher, because, like, also, like, there's just this whole other element to, like, the hustle of of, of getting on in general, right? Like, there are, all kind, there are so many different avenues that you can take, right? And, like, and, that, and, one, and one of them might just be, like, I have a passion for... There's so much performance that you need, right, in to be a rapper, to be a singer, right? Like yeah, in general, successful there's, one. There's to be a successful one, yeah. right? There's performance involved in that, and I, and I mean, I, I just feel like there are 
the art forms themselves are more closely linked than we uh, like to believe. Yeah, and there's like, I mean, I guess when real actors, like, was it back in the day? Didn't Samuel Jackson say something about rappers oh, in movies? Oh, it, it happened with. Uh, uh, they wanted Sam Jackson to play the Terrence Howard role in um, Fifty Cent's "Give Her to Die Trying." Yeah, and Sam Jackson, I mean, right. more or less I remember said he would never play second fiddle to a rapper. To a rapper, yeah. Uh, Not yeah. he's like because he said because, and I kind of respect. He's like because he's like this is my field. Yeah, he's like I'm not gonna. He's like it would be disrespectful for me to come and like do a rap album just to make money because he's like someone would buy a Sam Jackson album. You right. know what I'm saying? Just because you can get in the movie doesn't mean like. Right, you don't honor the art. His thing is like, where are you like, where's the honor of like? Yeah, and that I mean, but that I goes think back. Fifty did honor it, though. right? I but mean, that fifty goes cares. Back real, yeah, he 50, had a real yeah, fifty cares. Coach. Yeah, 50 exactly. Cares. Like, as that goes back to like, why? Why are they in the movie? What is the what is the what purpose is the for yeah. them being in the movie? You know, and yeah. what what and then like and then what does it mean to the actor themselves? What does it mean to? Uh, the audience watching the movie, you know, they're so. I mean, but it's like one of those things. Like, it depends. I mean, you could watch a movie like Too Fast, Too Fears. Michael Ealy was supposed to be the lead. They end up giving it to Tyrese because yeah, Tyrese is because Tyrese. Tyrese is Tyrese. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, you just never know. It depends on what your movie needs. Like, I look at like you gotta uh, study this stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I it's weird, yeah. but it's like you look at like what is it, Ant Man? Ti right. is in that T. movie. Ti is just randomly like, in it. There's no need for Ti. There's no reason for Ti to be in it. There's no reason for Ti to be in it. Super random. Do you have no? It's and, like and there's no point for him to thing. be in that. Movie. <laughs> that's a frustrating no thing point. about Ant Man that that he's in it. But then when you think about Ti, Ti is an a he is a rapper who is trying to act though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he like ATL is good. It's and I haven't seen ATL. You never seen ATL? ATL. Man, he's ATL good in that movie, movie. Yeah. man. Yeah. He's a good act. I mean, but like I don't you say good, but he's good in like everything I ever see him in. Yeah, I mean, I did. I, to I did me, the thing that with Ti and he was very funny. At oh, to me, the major thing of like uh, Shadow of Compton is so important and made it so well received is the fact they had actors who, because they can act, could play rappers right. or like play thugs. Where I feel like now, sometimes we can go to this all day every we day. We could. All right, now that we're back, I guess Jirai's time for that swirl. Time for the swirl. Sorry. All right. So cypher. Sorry, so. what's the swirl? So cypher. Yeah. The, the swirl is okay. okay. And I have to set this up because black women have been coming for me, uh -huh. yes. like trying to stack. I'm talking about like outside my house, like nigga for real. You gonna dis? You gonna you gonna diss us like that? I'm not trying to diss nobody. Right. No. Okay. I love everybody. The point of, of the swirl is that the fact of that, that a lot of times in studio backed films, the leading black man isn't the sex symbol. Whereas like if you look at like, I mean my God, like Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Probably has had two sex scenes on screen. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we we did Beverly Hills Cop, and there's literally a female lead that becomes like uh, uh, Eddie Murphy's best friend. Not saying there aren't just friends in the world. She was a yeah. tomboy, yeah, yeah, best point, friend. You know what I'm saying? Best friend. Like it's no need for that. Right. The so swirl is about is, equality. It's about equality. And the thing is, there's many movies where there's a white guy who his leading lady is a black woman or a woman of color, Puerto Rican. Like that's right. But mm -hmm. it's very. Very, very few times that you will see a leading black man having sex with a white woman. Mm. And to me, the point of the swirl is to say, we will never have, like, a black man will never be considered equal, I guess, to a white man or a white action hero or a white movie star until he can get to this point where, like, he can have sex with a white woman in a movie and it's not about his race. It's not about her, That's like, right. being, oh, I'm going against my dad. That's right. It's, it's, you know, it's not panning anybody. It's just like, hey. When this is becomes a non-color issue, I can stop doing the swirl, that is. and then we see people just be people. But this movie doesn't have a swirl. No, okay, that's there's no doesn't. swirl. There's but no there could have been a swirl. There could have been. Right. Okay. There could have been two swirls. Whoa, whoa, two whoa. swirls. Oh God! In this movie, I'm not ready. I can tell you both times. Please. Okay. Second time. Sorry, the first time. Getting this out. <laughs> <laughs> Starting <laughs> number number two. <laughs> number two to begin. Number two. <laughs> the first time the swirl could happen is when uh, Play comes back to pick up Bilal. All right, because the whole movie at this point, hey man, you got anybody for me? You got anybody for me? And like, every woman in the movie disses Bilal, right? right. Dragon Breath. Dragon yeah, Breath. Yeah, Dragon Breath. No one, no one, no one cares about Bilal as a human, as a person. Right. He's being dissed. So what could have happened is there could have been one woman, just one white woman, just sitting in the back seat because he had four or five. I don't like where this is going at this all. White, this one white woman could have been like, you know what? I, I can get past the breath. I see you're a funny dude. Right. You have skills. You're a DJ. Says nothing. They hang out. She goes back to the party. Okay, good. She sees him get dissed by uh, uh, Tasha Campbell. It's like, hey, man, blah, now I'm going to dance with somebody else. And she's just standing there. All right? And she's mm -hmm. like, I'll dance with you. Right. 
and Nasty know they had this. And they play, um, they, they play like, Always and Forever. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Why can Why can oh. he dance with somebody? Why can't Bilal get a little dance? And the thing is, they the one thing they say all the time during the slow dance is like everybody just grinds. It would have been like one of them dirty grinds too. Like she would have been like, oh, I'm a white girl at this black party for a reason. Right. I know what's up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know what's up. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Next thing you know, he'd be like, hey, man, can I walk you home? She's yeah. like, you can walk me home. And as you know, he's like, oh, this is great. This was fun. Uh, I'm going to go home. She's like, just come upstairs. Let's talk. Yeah, oh, God. Next thing you know, she could have been like, hey, take this mouthwash. He go rinse his mouth out. No. Take this but, mouthwash. That's not going to happen. I mean, she'd have gave mouthwash. That's disrespectful. She would want to kiss him in the oh, mouth with all that stuff. Breath. Here's yeah. the deal. I'm sorry. I don't mean no, to no, cut no, you off. No, no, go ahead. Tell me. Doggy style <laughs> solves <laughs> all dragon very, breath dra- problems. Very, very true. <laughs> But then you would have had, but then she would have had a hot breath on her hot back. Hot breath though. on the back. Hot, hot breath dragon on the back. breath. Hot, hot dragon, breath. dragon breath on the back. Reverse Wait. cowgirl. <laughs> that could have worked. It's number two. I don't number like that. two. I don't number like two. It. <laughs> All right. It's technically, <laughs> technically, play gets played the entire movie, right? Yes, he does. So even at the very end of the does movie, he? he does. Yeah, he does. Like, they show him love. I'm talking about like the main. is like. Shireen does not like him. Him. She, And he want, like he he keeps like trying to be like oh he even off of Burger King. Offered everything. He's like, yo, listen, I'm like, what do you need to do? I'm going to date. So the moment, like, Shireen closed the door on him, is like, no. He finds out that she was playing him just because she couldn't get kid no more. He's like, man, that's messed up. He doesn't want to drive home, right? He's just walking. He's just walking. And at this point, you know, if this takes place in L.A., you know, like, at the time, white people used to do that slumming stuff where they used to, like, go to the hood and drive around and, like, try to live life on the edge. Right. It would have been, like, a red convertible would have pulled up. He would ride home. And just like a blonde just driving the car. So your swirl moments are just rewrites. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're just total rewrites. Yeah, okay. And then they, they always become pornography. <laughs> listen, man. <laughs> listen, okay. I don't make the movies, all right? all right? These scenes have been put in the movies. It could have happened. I'm just taking them from other movies. Look, okay. he could have been walking, right? Okay. Sad. And you know how that movie goes. It would have been sad music playing in the background. Probably like at this time, like some, uh, uh, uh. Some 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 uh what's his name? I mean, he had the high pitched voice. Um, the little the, the little Te- uh, Te- uh, Tevin Campbell. Little Tevin oh, Campbell. Tevin. This is beautiful. This is a moment. Next thing you know, Tevin Campbell stops. Jodeci comes on. Jodeci wasn't around yet, but Jodeci comes on. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jodeci comes on. All right. Next thing you know, they get that look. You know how the movies do when like, everyone just looks at each other, and then it gets dark, and then you just know. You know, they go in for the kiss, fade to black, come back, they wake up on the hood of the car, boom, next day. Two swirls. Left, is that is that just, swirl? You know, in that version, they just left Kid in jail. Hey, listen, man, yes, he got there on his own. <laughs> yeah, like, he just, like, he's in, in jail. jail. <laughs> <laughs> he would have figured it out. Listen, uh, he would have figured it out. They were okay. trying to get at him in jail. Oh, they were. They were about to go at him. So, you in your see. version, Kid <laughs> gets raped in jail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's another thing. You could have just said there was a flashback. To when Robin Harris and Kid's mom got Where's together. The house party Where is that? Prequel. That would have made sense. <laughs> man, nah, Where's man. the house party pre? And then another way you could have just tied point. it in just a hair more is just the two women, the two white girls that end up having sex are the cops' daughters. Yeah. But, first but off, then first that off, what, are you, kinda... what are you doing right now? We got a guess. You gonna try to updo my goddamn swirl? <laughs> we got siphon here. You want to try to? I'm you want to correct saying, the damn swirl? I'm not correcting the. I mean, swirl. it's right. You right. I don't like it. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Hey, that was the tag team swirl. First time ever. That means you're part of this hate. Yeah, James. <laughs> I'm not going to hype. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Whatever. Y'all can hate James as much as y'all hate me. Too. <laughs> um, I just, anytime there's a way that I can just sort of, uh, you know, just add one little, uh, some parsley to the to the swirl. I like nice. to do that. I mean, it was a good movie, man. You know. Hey. Uh, but uh, I think we're done. Uh, but except... Was it Hancock, like a Hancock right? Thing? Hancock. Um, yeah. Thank you, Cypher, yeah. for bringing. How does Cypher remember your bits before? You uh, I bits. come from radio. I know how to remember <laughs> bits. That uh, to yeah. So Hancock, I was thinking. So like House it's... Party is a movie, right? Okay. That stars uh, two rappers. This. Okay. This. Just... And and Hancock is a movie that stars. One rapper. First of right. all, let me help you out, okay? Because there was a way to rap and connect uh, oh, this, okay? I let you get through your whole no, no, because you didn't connect. Because you didn't connect. <laughs> you you whole, I let you do your whole connected. swirl before you I said my idea. Yeah. Your I swirl connected. got rainbow sprinkles, <laughs> everything, yo. <laughs> uh, it stars that stars a rapper, and this this rapper happens to f- formerly be the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay, I'm not. No, no, and the, no. And the Fresh Prince of Bel Air was originally offered a. 
a role in House Party. Mm-hmm. But then later, you know, just think about it. We don't know which direction their careers. Why is your voice getting so deep right because now? Because this is important. Okay, so so then what happens is Hancock is about a a superhero. You done yet? Who has abilities, and one of his abilities is that he brings joy to the people. Okay, you can we can we he, can we get can we get Cypher <laughs> to do the cause, please? Good. Okay, fine. Goodness. We don't have to we don't have to talk about it. All right, Cypher. Uh, so the cause, the cause that's the whole point of this podcast. Okay. All right. Black it's, man can't jump. Black man can't jump. We review movies uh-huh. to see if the movie has helped a black lead. Yes. Has to be a studio picture. No indies. I know everyone gets mad about that. We're doing studios because there are very few black leads in studios. Okay. So, you know, like does this movie help the cause, which is to get more black men and women and women for that most part, uh, for the most part. Is it like directly or like kind of, not directly, but uh, like does it six degrees of separation? Six, yeah, it could be like yeah, if you feel like you if you can feel like, oh, a black director directed it, that helped in some way. It's just like because some movies, you know, kind of not saying set us back. But if you think about like uh, uh, Soul Plane, I don't know yeah. who Soul Plane helped. You know, so what Soul we do Plane is, is a whole nother topic. Oh, oh, yeah. So what we do is, Cause you know, it was directed, written by a, a Dominican guy, a Spanish uh, guy. What? Yeah. And he got a lot of flack for that. But I, sorry to jump in. Oh, go ahead. But I'm just yeah. saying, I felt really bad for him. Um, His name is, um, damn, he's my friend. Uh, I mean, you know the Soul Plane yeah. writer? You know uh, Soul Plane? Yeah. What's the guy's name? He did a lot of music videos. Oh, Ter- Terrero. Ter- Terrero is his last name. In New York, Black and Spanish is the same. It, uh, that we is all true. grow up. This is like in your house it might be culturally different, but in the streets, the we're the person. same. Yeah, the same uh, there, a lot of the places in the rest of the country is very separate. Yeah. So he got a lot of flack for making this movie, which was a black movie, yeah. a black spoof of Airplane, which initially is a spoof movie anyway. Yeah. 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 Uh, because he wasn't black, but he, we don't even fathom stuff like that in New York. Like we're yeah. the you same. Down. Yeah. yeah, and it's like. He really felt bad that people, like, he's like, okay, maybe it wasn't the greatest movie of all time. It wasn't supposed to be. It's a nutty, yeah. silly comedy, but that's what you're focusing on because like we're all the like same that. in New York. And yeah. I can see how he got upset about that. But that that movie had a cause, obviously, Kevin Hart and a bunch of other people. Yeah. Yeah. This movie, House Party. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it doesn't have a cause. It can't be direct and direct. And the thing is, we do a black fist. The yeah. black fist is like. You think it does help the cause? Yeah. The white palm means ah, what's so so, and nothing is. No, you it didn't help at all. So, like on the count of three, we just go oh, hold just, up. You, just, you don't say why. You yeah, say we do afterwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We're we'll gonna do this three. Okay, so here we go. Do you, is there video component to this part? No. Nope. So, <laughs> we so we're gonna do out. a hand signal, yep. and then we tell them what we did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. One, two, three. Oh, oh snap! But people at home, this movie received three, three fists. fists. Wow! And wow! I wonder. I wonder. Oh, what was here. JP it never went down. Get. It never went down. Well, you know, because I, I went back and forth about it. But let's go. Let's what? go around the circle. We'll start Cypher. with Cypher. Um, I mean, first off, top Martin Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, but this is the causes to lead to. Well, just like does well, it help? Like you more know? leading black actors mm-hmm. in films. Did this film help with that? I mean, yeah, Martin no, Lawrence. Martin. Martin Lawrence yeah. is the one. Um, uh, I'm sure Tisha Campbell's up there too, right? Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Tisha Campbell's in there. Um, I think it would have helped Robin Harris. I mean, it probably started to, but then yeah, he, passed, but he away. passed away. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, it did the probably the least for Kid and Play. It did? In yeah. the long run. Yeah, yeah. in the long run. In the long, long run. Because even House Party 3 with Immature in it, like... right. It blew, they they didn't blow them up, but they blew up and have very successful career. Yeah. Now Kid and Play are like, I don't think they're doing as much as we would no, like them to they're do. Doing reruns of like Kid and Play stuff. Yeah, I still love them. But yeah, um, yeah, I give it a. I think Martin Lawrence is probably the biggest one. I mean, I I had to give it a fist one because like what Cypher said of Martin, but also because I don't know, man. It just represented the neighborhood, you know. Yeah. And you saw every aspect of it. You saw the good, the bad. You saw those whatever trying to do well, like. Like, Kid's dad, Robin Harris, was trying his best. Like, he was strict, but, like, he cared about his son. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and also, it was like, I feel like they had so many messages for kids. Not yeah. that this was a kid movie, because they definitely cursed and talked about sex. Well, but, but it was it's like, like a... Don't, do, don't get drunk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're going to have sex. And they made, and the thing is, like, that conversation with Kid and Play in the car and even Bilal, like, they made, I feel like they made a point to write, kid, I mean, Play's dialogue as... 
man, that ain't your, like that ain't for you to worry about if she want to keep the gig. Like yeah. that ain't for yeah. you, man. Whatever. Like she could. That's and her the problem. Full, that's the her full problem. first song uh, ain't my type of hype. Yeah. Also, like furthers that message. Yeah, man. They were trying to get like oh, full force. Yeah, full yeah. force, man. They, they did, It didn't really help. Them get into no. movies. No, it did though. Oh, did, musically, they, they produced like Backstreet Boys. Yeah. What? No, they're paid. Yeah. Oh snap! All them big back, not all of them, but a lot of the big Backstreet Boy records and a lot of other pop records from that era they produced and wrote. What? Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. They still rock the curl and ponytail. Though? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, it's funny because that's coming back in style. Like that's one thing we didn't touch on, but that fashion of like the fades and the and the chains and the loud colors, like that's back, man. You go to yeah. open a ceremony, you got freaking Africa pattern flag shirt and pants. That's what's up. James, I gave it a fist. Even show, sorry, movies don't no, even yeah. show safe sex. Like condoms no, don't even come right. up. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, just go thing. right in. And yeah, that was like important. That's a good in this point. Movie. Ever, it's important even, in yeah, this movie. No, Only comedies. Yeah. yeah. Only comedies when they're making a joke of the condom, but like love stories and like that's a like, good point. They just go yeah. right. Everybody in. just raw. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's raw it's dog like that. Everybody like, out here. Like they don't hit you over the head with the message with any of the messages. But they the didn't have to feel that way. But they right, didn't because they like, didn't have a condom. But mm-hmm. they showed it, right? It was still there. Yeah. I mean, I get I get this movie fist because uh, uh, of all the things you guys said, and also like like what what I said earlier. Like this is a movie about about people who happen to be black. You know, like they have the messages. They have yeah. the, the police harassment message. But like even the cops, like they're they're gonna be involved in this story anyway it's about kids sneaking out like you know what i mean like cops are gonna be involved in the the story yeah all that stuff stuff. so it's like so you know uh, and that is the the biggest thing for me and then you know we have martin lawrence but then also okay wait there's another actor in this movie also we have not talked about but who has a super small part uh but uh clinton powell plays uh, so oh, he plays he plays the brother. He right? plays the brother, he and he's brother. just Pinky. as evil as he has always been. Pinky, <laughs> uh, what, uh, Pinky from uh, I always call him Pinky. Uh, Pinky from uh, uh, Next Friday. Yeah, Pinky from Next the Friday. Pimp? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's in, in it. Movie. He's, he's in this movie. He's yeah. his brother. Um, uh, he plays uh, he plays Shireen's brother. Really? Like when he's, he's make just come on in the house. Like he's, come on in the house. He opened the come door. on in the house. He's like shirtless, all evil. hitting on the chick. <laughs> and yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Girl, just come on in after your big face. And, oh, and yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. guy, I mean, granted, like, he's he's often a black man in yeah. his movies. But, like, he has 14 projects in development right now on IMDb. Wow. 14. Ten of them come, come, come out this year. Or, came, like, wow. they are still have, like, the red, like, completed. Oh. So haven't been released yet. Th- for this year on IMDb. So, like, this, this movie, like, and, you know, and, and Daryl Mitchell, who we talked about, who also, like, you know, out of this movie went on to be, you know, to, ha- to have some symbols of an acting career. And I just think that, like, yeah, I think bring, that this we need to get great playback, man. We got to bring him I back. I saw them on, on the Studio Hall, like, when Arsenio was on, like, two years ago when this um, show came on. And they had them come do uh, Ain't Gonna Hurt Nobody. And I was like, God, man, this song yeah. still rocks to this day, boy. <laughs> yeah. So, that, I mean, that was the cause. Play? That was, yeah, it was Kid of Play. Yeah, that's, that's, that song is just. That's the, that's the weak song. What? That's I their weak. It. Wait, that's their weakest song. The move, the house party soundtrack is the is the when they started falling off music wise. Really, I wow. love that song. If you man. go back, hey, um, uh, uh, my type of hype. F- no, 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 that's not them. That's not them. Getting hype. funky. They had a go go song too. I remember everyone. Yeah, did. I hate go go. No disrespect. I know where you're from. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm sorry. I get it. New Yorkers, ma- New Yorkers do hate it. It's a thing. New Yorkers hate go go. They do. They unless, do. Unless you went to Howard. You oh yeah, go yeah, you hate it. <laughs> Unless you went to University of Maryland or Howard. Yep, that I mean you hate it. Puff Daddy tried to help us out and do a uh, go go song. Didn't take it. <laughs> Where did he go though? <laughs> like yeah, he went to Howard. <laughs> he went to Howard. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was the That cost. was it, man. Three fists. Uh, yeah. Three fists for house party. House and we party. gotta thank our guest, Cypher yes, Sounds, Cypher y'all. Sounds. Thanks for having me anytime, man. This was the most interesting conversation. I've had it in a long time, so yeah, man. Good, man. we got to get you back. Get you yeah. back for break. Oh, Scythe, yeah. plugs, man. Yeah, what do you got to plug? Uh, okay. Um, uh, new comedy series on Tidal. You got to be a Tidal subscriber, sorry. But the first one's going to be, <laughs> first one's gonna be free. Uh, it comes out, uh, the date is still messed probably first week of November. But it's a stand-up series that I did at the Comedy Cellar um, with a lot of uh, new, I mean, I hate saying unknown because they're not famous, yeah. but there's a big 
a lot of working comedians that I think should be getting sh more shine yeah, than they new, do. New never means new. Yeah. You know? yeah <laughs> it means but it's been every working for comedian <laughs> on Def Comedy Gym was considered a nobody and right. new. Yeah, yeah. And look at what happened to all yeah, those dudes. So yeah. I would like to try to do my part in exposing talent. Hell yeah. I do stand up and I love it and I'll continue to do it. But there's some people that I think should be yeah. popping. You know what I'm saying? And if I could help them with the with the tricks that I know and yeah. then ride their coattails in, yeah, in and return. Get, yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, it's, a, it's a system. system. It's a system. Trickle man. down, baby. Trickle it up. Is. It's a system, yeah. yo. So yeah, so that's coming out. And then uh yeah, just at Cypher Sounds is all my social media stuff. So follow me, please. And I gotta plug both both of y'all for uh, Cypher Show, take it personal Fridays. Fridays. U C B East in New York City. Yep. Yep. What time is it, Cypher? Uh nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Eight thirty for Spanish and black people. <laughs> you know, you gotta be there early. Like I know James has sat in a couple of times on that no, show. James is yeah. on the team. Oh, I'm James is officially on the team. Officially on the team. Got a black man on that. Oh, yeah, James. <laughs> and it's like you know, go support that. Go support that. And it was that, before yo. all this POC drama. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They probably don't even know about. No, they no. don't know about it. We don't Unless wanna, you read the we Washington Post. We haven't talked about it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. So with that note, uh, uh, we're just gonna say thank you to Cipher. Uh, we're gonna, we'll be uh, we'll be reviewing. Back in a uh, second with, yeah, we we'll back in a second. We we'll tell you guys our movies for next week. That movie next week is gonna be a banger. It's gonna be. A banger. Peace. <laughs> I'm back to do plugs. Hey, look who oh, it look is. Look who it is. Strolling. Look at this. Just, just, you famous now. So you just I walking know, in. He just out here making TV not shows. Famous. Famous. Just out here just red carpet. Doing, doing Shining small light bits. Shining light. Shining Small lights. bits on cool TV shows that will come out next year. Great. Um... <laughs> But I'm not going to plug that right now. Okay. I, what I'm going to plug is my website. Cheer. JohnBraylock.com. Okay. Twitter, at John Braylock. That's J-O-N-B-R-A-Y-L-O-C-K. Spilt it for you fools. And on Instagram, I am all over that. And at Black Man Podcast on Twitter, Black Men Podcast at Gmail. Black Man Can't Jump. Uh, Black Man Podcast at Gmail. Yeah. Gmail. Black Man Podcast at Gmail. And uh, a, a Facebook page, Black Man Can't Jump. That's right. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, check us out. Check, you know, got some got some shows up there. You can check them out. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we out here doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Living. Rate and review us on iTunes. Yeah, yeah. Please like us. Follow us on Spreaker. Please. Oh, let's oh, give a shout out to Spreaker, Spreaker real quick. Yeah, Spreaker. Spreaker. Yo, Spreaker. Hosting our, our Spreaker. Podcast. Hosting our stuff. Thank you. Yeah, y'all can go to Spreaker.com and just yeah. look. I mean, y'all can listen to us and a bunch of other podcasters yeah. that are freaking fantastic. Maybe you want to start your own podcast, Spreaker. Spreaker, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but y'all can't start one about, you know, black men not jumping, because if y'all do, we coming after y'all. like, unless it's a unless scientific. It's actually about black yeah, men not like being able to jump. Oh, oh, you mean, oh, you mean like physically. study about, like, yeah, whether or not black men mm -hmm. are capable of jumping. Right, I you, mean, that's true, because sometimes they can't You guys got some plugs. Yeah, you yeah, I mean, they, I mean, you want plug first? Yeah, uh, James Third Comedy. Dot com at James Third Comedy Twitter and Instagram that is Third Three R D and if you are in New York on Thursday October 29th 7:30 p.m. at the People's Improv Theater recording my stand up album it's gonna be some great uh, comedians that are gonna be there as well so <laughs> come check that out you haven't changed the website name yet. I'm not changing my website. Name. I'm saying but we all know it's confused. I mean, your name is James the Third. Your website is James. There third. is third. there is nothing confusing. James Three R D. There's 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 it's not confusing at all. Is it T H I R D? <sighs> what did I say? I said <laughs> <laughs> I said three. Like it's not even. Dry. You got some plugs? Yeah. Oh, I was just trying to understand James plugs at first. I wanted to clarify for people at home because I'm confused. No one is confused about. This. Okay, maybe it's just me. My bad. My bad. All right. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, on this week's episode, I would like to plug nothing. Um, sorry. Uh, I just want to like. Surprise, surprise. I mean, listen, guys, I'm going to start plugging stuff soon. Um, I'm just building up to it. It's a lot of pressure to like plug stuff and like, you know, be social. Um, what? 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 What happened? I have the what same you, question. What are you talking what about? Are you <laughs> you talking about me? I was talking to the people. I'm not talking. I'm talking to the people. All right. All right. You know what? All right. What? So next week. Ooh, can we say what it is? Yeah. Next week. Yeah, we will. <laughs> we are reviewing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are you going to say it, um, James? Oh, can we all say it together? I just say on three. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, uh, Nick, are you going one, two, three, or three, two, one? 
You well, I, just, started, you I just, just started, started one, two, well, but then you head, stopped well, me, so head, then I couldn't do well, it. Well, my head, I thought stopped. we were doing three, and then you confused me. All right, so let's start with a three then. Here no, we no, go. No, no, if you want to do one, we can start with one. All right, well, we could have said it seven times <laughs> by now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, okay, uh, next week we are reviewing three, two, well, wait, one. Well, I thought you were doing one. I thought we're reviewing one. Spawn. That's Thank it. you, Yeah, JB. we're reviewing Spawn. Oh, come on, guys. That's right. Spawn, Michael Jai White. Man, we were almost there. Nope. No, we weren't. We were so close. I don't think we were. We were three uh, seconds away. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll start our little two-week Halloween special uh, two week series. Halloween. 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 <laughs> 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 All right. And, uh, You're just laughing. We will see you <laughs> <laughs> next week. Bye. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>